What's up, Wired? We wanted to take this time to have communion with you, the Lord's Supper. We encourage you to get your elements of your crackers and your juice. Whatever it is that you have in your home, go ahead and grab that. I have some Ritz crackers and some fruit punch. Um, whatever you have is sufficient, and it'll be more than enough to observe uh, this time in this sacrament with us. We want you all to uh, make sure that you are participating in communion with us, but also with your family members, whether your parents have picked up communion packets from the church or you have your items in your home. Um, the Lord will, have, will take whatever it is that you have uh, to observe this time of communion with one another. I want to read a verse to you all that will be important for uh, what it is that we're doing today. Matthew 26, starting at verse 26. This is the account of uh, Jesus talking with his disciples at the Last Supper before he's going to be crucified. And this is where we get our understanding of communion from and our instructions to do so. And we'll read this together. Matthew 26, starting at verse 26. While they were eating, Jesus took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it. And he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat, this is my body. Then verse 27 says, Then he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. This is the blood of the covenant which has been poured out for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you that I will not drink from the fruit of this vine from now until the day when I drink anew with you in the Father's kingdom. But when he had said this, they sung a hymn and they went on to the Mount of Olives. This is just one of the accounts, one of the chronicles of the communion, um, the Last Supper story as we understand it in the Bible. And so we understand this as an observation of Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection. This is a representation of what Jesus Christ did on the cross for us. And so we do this as we, we have been instructed to do this as often as we need to until the Lord comes again. And so we observe it once a month at the beginning of the month for no other reason. Than that was just a convenient time for us. But the Bible says, as often as you do this, do this in remembrance of me. And so we remember the Lord and we remember Jesus' sacrifice this morning um, and his sacrifice for us on the cross that we might have life and have it more abundantly. Let's pray together over these elements and uh, we'll commune together. Lord, we just love you and we say thank you for your sacrifice of your son, Jesus Christ. Thank you for selflessly offering up all that you had that we could have even more, God. I thank you so much for the way that you continue to look after us and care for us and protect us. Thank you for being the provision that we needed, giving us the ultimate sacrifice that we might be able to have salvation in you through your son, Jesus Christ. Thank you that life does not end here, but it uh, continues as we are able to commune with you, God. But thank you that you've even given us life to enjoy while we are here here we bless these elements we take the juice god which represents your blood and we take the cracker which represents your body we ask that you anoint it that you would lift these up that you would make them holy that as we take these and we partake we remember what your son jesus christ did on the cross for us bless these elements even now bless everyone in their home as they engage and participate with us we'll do this as often as we need to until you come again we're waiting on you we love you we thank you for your sacrifice in jesus name amen so I'll instruct you to go ahead and get your elements right now as you get your crackers. You hear my crackling crackers and your juice. And as instructed to do according to Matthew 26, Jesus took the cup and he took the bread and he lifted up the bread and he broke it and he blessed it. And said, this is my body, which is going to be broken for you. Go ahead and eat all of it. And in the same manner, he lifted the cup and he blessed it. And he said, this is my blood that's going to be poured out for you. Go ahead and drink all of it. And he instructs us to continue to do this until he comes again. We pray that this was a blessing to you, that this was an opportunity to observe the Lord's Supper. And we invite you to do this as often as you need to. You don't have to wait till we do it all together to do it, but as often as you need to, to remember what Jesus did on the cross for you. We're grateful and we're honored to even be able to recognize and honor him and remember him in this way. Y'all have a great week. Pray blessings to you and on you. If you need anything, we're always here. God bless.